is 6 News. Good evening, I'm Mary Hamill. The battle lines are drawn on South Orange Blossom Trail. Neo-Nazis on one side saying gays are to blame for AIDS and they don't belong in the military. Across the street at the Parliament House, a gay resort, defenders say the neo-Nazis are a frightening example of hate. 6 News reporter Joan Fuller has been taking in the protests for the last few hours. Joan, anybody arrested there today? Mary, there were no arrests, but there was a strong police presence here along Orange Blossom Trail. There were the Orange County Sheriff's deputies, as well as the Orlando Police Department. And they were all here for a rally, which according to this flyer we received, was sponsored by the Independent Knights of the Ku Klux Klan to show their opposition to gays. Now, no Klansmen were visibly present at the rally, but there was a great deal of hate. Demonstrators and counter demonstrators were divided not only by a street, but also by sexual preference and a philosophy. The philosophy leaders of the gay community say is dangerous if left to grow. Because it brings a sense of, of hate and prejudice in the community that we don't like to see. Uh, we like they um, they're common. Uh, uh, they have a common goal of uh, of spreading misinformation. Are you all going to march today, though? No. Okay. Now, initially, the skinheads refused to talk to me about their demonstration, but eventually told me they were protesting because homosexuality is un-American. Don't teach your children who don't know any better that homosexuality is okay. It's an alternate lifestyle. That's wrong. And I'm, I'm, I'll fight till the day I die. And although there wasn't much face-to-face -face confrontation between the two groups, one straight bystander said he couldn't contain his disgust over the skinhead's hatred. The United States citizens, we stand together as one. We go to war, we take care of each other. Whether you're Caucasian, black, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. You're American. Wow, an emotional day. Very emotional, Mary. Joan, did the protesters tell you why the Klan did not show up today as they promised to on that flyer? Well, one sheriff's deputy told me that the a Klan, the Klansmen really don't like the skinheads. But then a skinhead told me that the Klan was here, they just weren't dressed in their attire. Uh -huh. the robes. And where did the skinheads go now? Well, after this, they said they were going to have a ceremony, ceremonial swastika and cross-burning ceremony at their own private place. And they said that we, the press, were not invited. Okay, thank you so much. There are still two people missing from the explosion. The tour opened. You know, maybe there's a roost. Maybe they're picketing the community center. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I told them a crowd of gay and lesbian activists turned out early and proved to be stronger in numbers and better organized than the group that planned to picket the Parliament House. About 100 gay activists waited for the right wing groups to show up. It's beyond belief. They hate everybody. We thought that died years ago. The gay activists moved down the street when they saw this group of skinheads waiting to get organized. Then the verbal sparring started with each side of the issue taking an opposite side of the street. Some gay and lesbian demonstrators soon found out that this group of mostly teenagers wasn't interested in any opposing viewpoint. Messages down with homosexuality and AIDS in society and down with Clinton's decision into putting people into the military that are queers. Orlando police motorcycle officers and mounted patrol stood between the two sides once the demonstration moved in front of the Parliament House. There's about 20 officers right here on site now and of course we've got a number of other officers we can call on if we need them. Turns out police didn't need them. After less than an hour, the right wing group quit protesting to the delight of those on the other side of the street. And we're back live now in front of the Parliament House on 441. Orlando police tell us that there were no arrests made. However, they had almost as many cameras out here as the media today. They say this is an invaluable opportunity to gain police intelligence on people who make up these right-wing groups. So they were very glad to get that intelligence today. But uh, fortunately, uh, uh, for the most part, peaceful rally. Scott and Wendy, back to you. Okay, thank you. Bob Keeling, live in Orange County.